between 1945 and 1999, there were approximately 127 civil wars. The total casualties as a direct result of these wars are estimated to be at least 16.2 million, with many more killed or disabled by diseases caused by civil wars. A better understanding of the factors that influence the outbreak of such conflicts is essential to try to prevent future incidents. Antonio Ciccone, an affiliated professor at Barcelona Graduate School of Economics, has examined whether civil wars are caused in part by economic recessions. There is evidence that uh, civil wars tend to be preceded by economic recessions. But of course, this doesn't mean that recessions cause civil wars. It could be just that a greater chance of a future civil war deters, scares away uh, investments and that causes a recession. In order to determine whether economic recessions are the cause of civil wars, rather than just a consequence, Professor Ciccone looked at the effects of downturns in international commodity prices on both economic activity and civil war outbreak in sub-Saharan African countries. Together with my colleague, Marcus Brugno, we found that commodity price downturns often cause deep recessions in sub-Saharan African countries. This is natural because these countries depend highly on commodity exports. We therefore investigated whether commodity price downturns also caused civil wars. Well, we found this to be true. For example, between 1997 and 2000, only three years, coffee prices fell by 70%. The three countries in sub-Saharan Africa that depend most on coffee exports are Burundi, Rwanda and Uganda. Civil war started in Burundi in the year 2000, in Rwanda in 2001, and in Uganda in 2002. The case of Uganda is especially interesting. Uganda had three civil wars in the period we study, 81, 91, and 2002. All three of them were preceded by large drops in international coffee prices. The international price of commodities, other than coffee, oil, and cotton, for example, have also been found to have an effect on civil war outbreak. Consider, for example, the civil wars that started in Angola in 1998 and in Chad in 2001. The civil war in Angola was preceded by a large drop in the price of oil, which is Angola's most important export. The civil war in Chad, on the other hand, was preceded by a 25% drop in the price of cotton, which is the most important source of export revenue for Chad. Looking at data on international commodity prices, incomes of African countries and civil war outbreaks, we found that a 5% fall in income caused by commodity price downturns increased the likelihood of civil war by 6%. Though falling income may increase the chance of civil war, Professor Ciccone has also found evidence that a country's form of government plays a role in such situations. There's a clear and striking difference according to countries' political regimes. Economic recessions cause civil wars in autocracies, but not in democracies. We think that this is because democratic institutions are better in getting help to those groups that are hardest hit by recessions. Mm -hmm.